Here we're going to go over a hydrodissection and cortisone injection for chronic carpal tunnel syndrome in an 80-year-old female. Here we're going to look at the wrist in an axial plane. This is our essentially home base view of the wrist. Here you can see the median nerve. You can appreciate the flexor digitorum superficialis and profundus tendons as well as the ulnar artery and nerve. And now we're going to look at the median nerve in a long axis view or a sagittal plane over the volar wrist. And you can appreciate there is some thickening of the median nerve as it's entering the carpal tunnel and there appears to be somewhat of a notch sign as well. You can appreciate the underlying bony structures as well. So this is our initial approach. We had a gel standoff. We were essentially looking at the median nerve in a short axis view and then uh, using that gel standoff we were going to place the needle through that and try to get it between the median nerve and the ulnar artery but it seemed just too much of a tight space so I decided to go a different approach essentially looking at the median nerve in a long axis view and just trying to get the tip of that needle above the median nerve and here we are injecting about two or three C's of saline mixed with just about 10 milligrams of deep omedrol over the volar aspect of the median nerve. Here we're going to go over hydrodissection of the median nerve for chronic carpal tunnel. Here you can see some of the anatomic structures labeled. This is an in-plane approach and we're looking at the median nerve during this procedure in a long axis view. Here you can see the tip of the needle just next to the median nerve and we're essentially just injecting our injectate just above and around the median nerve. Here is the procedure again in slow motion. You can see the injectate basically going above and around the median nerve.